Hello everyone and welcome to the TikTok Masterclass with Trio Media. My name's Claire and I'm going to be taking you through everything you need to know about TikTok as part of your marketing strategy. So first of all, please feel free to take any content from today's session. Please do go follow us on our social media channels, especially on TikTok. You can get to know a little bit more about the type of content we create on there. And yeah, it'd be good to have you and be connected. So first of all, a little bit more about me and about Trio Media. So my name's Claire, Claire Daniels. I'm the CEO at Trio Media. We're a digital marketing agency um, based in Leeds with an office in London as well. We were founded five years ago and what we offer to our clients is we design and build websites, we manage social media channels and create content and adverts for social media. We do search engine optimization and PPC, but we're very focused on results. We're very results driven and we know what works when it comes to getting the most out of your social media. So in today's session, I'm going to keep it very much how you should keep your TikToks. So it's going to be short, it's going to be relevant, and it's going to be natural. So the reason these three words are important, so first of all, short. In content that you're creating for TikTok, you can't record more than three minutes max. And that's kind of recently changed that they've extended it. So it does need to be shorter form content that performs better. Your content also needs to be relevant. So I deliberately chose this term rather than specifically saying informational or valuable because it's going to come down to what it is that you're trying to achieve and the relevancy of that to your target audience. So what works for one person listening to this session may not work for another as ultimately the outcome is going to come down to who are you trying to target and what are their wants and needs on TikTok. And then finally, natural, you know, I'm wearing a hoodie today. I'm recording this just sat in our studio um, on my MacBook. The purpose being gone are the days where marketing collateral, especially video, needed to be super expensive and costly and time consuming to produce. It's all about just getting comfortable with picking up the phone, picking up your camera and creating content. So natural organic content does tend to work far better on TikTok. Now, obviously in this session, we've got 30 minutes. I'm gonna cover as much as I can, but we're also not gonna be able to make you an expert after 30 minutes. So hopefully you will get enough information from this session to feel inspired and go away and start creating your own TikToks. And then we can have a chat if there's anything else that you need. So first of all, just to show a little bit about the relevance of why we're here talking to you about TikTok. So as a digital marketing agency who creates content and ads um, and digital marketing strategies for our clients, we've obviously had to get on board with TikTok and the sooner the better. So Green Chef is one of the clients that we work with. They are a branch of HelloFresh um, who do kind of vegetarian and healthier meals. That is me in the middle taking a bite out of a halloumi burger. Um, that video, I think, had well over a million views. I had people texting me saying, is that you that I've just seen on Green Chef's TikTok? And, you know, that was filmed in my kitchen, being real, being authentic, as we've said. And yes, it is going to mean that you might have to be eating on camera, you know, if that's what you're there to do. But it's just about creating content that's going to be valuable and relevant to your audience. And then finally, we've also got Fully Vibed, who is a sportswear brand that we're working with. And I've put them on for reference because we're working with them to find influencers who will wear their clothes, film content, send it back, and that we're then using for ads. So this is a really good ad strategy on TikTok is user-generated content. So wherever you can have the opportunity to devise that and work with your target audience to create content, that's going to work really well for you if you want to do TikTok ads. So we do know quite a bit about TikTok and the TikTok space. So I wanted to 
share this quote with you just to get in the right mindset. So TikTok themselves say, we specialize in entertainment, not social media. And I can really see that because you go on that platform to consume content, to be entertained. You're not going on necessarily to communicate with people so much. There was actually just a poll done by The Drum recently on LinkedIn that had over 1,800 responses and 77% of people agreed that it was an entertainment platform. But actually what a lot of people said as well is maybe the term social media or social network is outdated to where we are today with the way we consume information. I also thought it was worthwhile sharing this quote with you because whilst this is true, I think there's a misconception that then the only way to make it on TikTok is through creating dances, lip syncs and everything else. That is not the case at all. You absolutely can do that and I would encourage you to because it's an easy way in, but you can create your own original authentic content that as long as it's relevant to your audience, you will still get growth by. But it's always worth knowing that this is what it comes back to. You're on a channel where people are going to be entertained. So we need to be thinking about how we capture their hearts and minds in very short space of time when they're looking at content to entertain them. So let's get into the nitty gritty then. Why do you need to use TikTok? So the one thing that I've been saying to people a lot recently is everyone wishes they could capitalize on, you know, going back to when Instagram started. Oh, I've got on Instagram quick enough. You know, you might have grown your account more. We saw how the rise of Instagram catapulted some people to have full-time careers in social media like we'd never seen before. We now have that across Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, that content creators in those spaces, you've got multimillionaires creating content because of how much time people spend on those platforms. So I always encourage people to think, if you wish you'd got into Instagram in the early days and invested in your channel back then, now is the time to do that on TikTok. So let's not wait around, let's get on, start today. Let's also have a look at actually the audience and who's spending time on there. So TikTok has 1 billion monthly active users. In 2021, it was the most downloaded app of all, aside from gaming apps. Um, I also believe, just recalling that it was the same in 2020, it was the most downloaded app, except in April 2020, when there was a WhatsApp update and WhatsApp was the most popular app in that month. But monthly, the growth of TikTok downloads is huge. 60% of the audience is 16 to 24. I think this is the piece that scares people sometimes because they go, well, my audience isn't on TikTok. You actually think it's all kind of 12, 13 year olds. It's not. But as much as that 60% that are in that age group, you know, the younger age group, there's 40% of the users that are not. So you definitely have a really varied demographic. And you do find, you know, as much as we've seen Facebook everyone now thinks of Facebook as the platform for middle-aged women. That's because the crowds follow where the young people go. So if the young people are there now, that is your sign that that's where you should be. We can see the breakdown here. 41% of the users are male, 59% female. Um, just in the UK, there's over 13 million individual users and TikTok users spend an hour a day on the app. Now, for any of you that have got iPhones, you probably get your regular weekly update of how long you spent on your phone. Um, mine is awful. It tends to be about five to six hours a day, but I do put a lot of that down to work as well. But I spend a lot of time on TikTok. And if you start thinking about the time that you can consume in that time people spend on their phone, being on the platform where they're spending that time, you know, that it, it makes it the place to be. So absolutely. TikTok is the right place for you. I guarantee your target audience will be there. And if they're not there in the millions yet, they will come. And now is the time to secure your space on TikTok as a content creator. And it's it's the way to get in front of people around the world. So 
let's jump into how to create a TikTok. I think a lot of people that are interested in TikTok have probably got the app, probably watch a lot of the content, but aren't necessarily sure how to create a TikTok. If you do know how to do it, you might still find some tips here, or you can skip ahead where we will cover how to run ads a little bit later on. So first things first, if you do not have TikTok downloaded, go download it, pause this video, come back and get your account set up and then we'll work with it from there. So looking at the left, you've got your kind of home page. So I'm on the Trio Media page here. And at the bottom, I've got this little black button in the middle with a plus sign. Click on that. That's going to start creating your TikToks. So it will then open up our camera. So your camera, I was actually on holiday in Portugal recording this. So I had to take pictures of the gardens. Um, but you'll have your outward camera. You can flip your camera to record inside or also next to the red button, you've got an option to upload content. What you've also got in this screen, so just above the red button, is it's automatically set to, it's gonna record for 15 seconds. You can skip that along to 60 seconds or to three minutes. If you're not sure, but you think it's gonna be a bit longer, put it on three minutes because it will cap you if you put it on 15 seconds and you try to record more than that. So you do have to set a limit. Just so you know what else we're looking at on this screen. So just above the time limits, we've got, we can see we're highlighted on one times and we could scroll across to 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 2 or 3. That is speed. So if it's on one times, it's at normal speed. If you want it sped up, you go up to three times. If you want it slowed down, you go down. We can also add effects that we can see next to the red button. And then we've got a number of controls on the right hand side at the top as well. Again, the flip camera, your speed, different effects. You can put a timer on if you want to be prepared before you get started. So if you want to upload existing footage, you click on the media piece, you'll upload that as you go. But if you want to record, you're holding down that, on that red button and that will get you started. I personally would recommend if you are doing something like talking or you're creating your own content, even if you might add some sound, I would add it later. However, if you are wanting to lip sync or, you know, follow along with a piece of music, then it would be best to add the sound now. And you can see that add sound kind of stays consistently at the top in the center. So you can add that. You can go in and search for any sound that you might like. You can pick popular music. If you've ever liked a video and you thought, oh, I'd like to do something like that, you can go back to that video and in the bottom right corner, you can click on the audio and you can go in to use it. So that's how you pick up, you know, how to, how to uh, get the music that you want. I appreciate we're going quite speedily through this. Like I say, there's a lot of content to cover, but I'm trying to give you as many of the kind of basic tips as I can. So when you've recorded a little bit of footage, you'll see here on the left-hand side, we can see now we've got our red button, but we've got a clip, which is just that little red bit that's gone round. So we've got one clip there. If I'm happy with that, I can then add another clip. I can keep recording. So you see a lot of people do snappy, bits of content. This is how people often do transitions. They record a bit, pause it, make the transition, start recording again. So that that's the way that you do that. Once you're happy with everything that you've recorded or uploaded, you can click on the little pink tick and that's going to take you through to the next stage. So at this stage, it's now going to show you everything in full so you can watch what the TikTok would look like. You've got the option now to go and edit clips. You can go and change the time, you know, really tighten down on transitions that you might have made. You can add text onto the screen here, which you will see a lot on TikToks. You can add sound. So like I say, if I was creating a TikTok where I was talking to camera, I would have recorded that in the app. But I may still choose to add a sound at this stage just as a bit of background noise. And you do find that people do this when creating content. They'll add a trending song or piece of music very quietly. So you still get in found in those trending pieces, but it's not overpowering to the own audio that you have added to it. If you're happy here with all the edits you've made, you can then hit next. 
And when you click next, you're going to come to this screen. And this is like your final screen for editing. It's where you're going to put your caption. You're going to add hashtags. You can tag people. You can add a link. You can change a number of settings here, such as whether you want to allow people to duet it or stitch it. These will be automatically ticked on. It's not really any real need to tick it off unless you don't want your content going very far. But if you're happy with all of this, you can save it to drafts for a later date, or you can decide to post it. If you click post, it will then immediately post and share it out. So what I'm really hoping is after this session, a lot of you are gonna be inspired to want to go and create your own TikToks. So anyone that does do that, I'm just gonna tell you now, we will give a free TikTok marketing strategy to any company that creates a TikTok and tags us on it at Trio Media UK. So please do go try your best, create something, absolutely start today and we would love to see all of your creations and then we will help you in what you could be doing better. So you've created some content, but obviously you want to think about getting it out there and getting it in front of people. So there's actually three different places that you can go to on TikTok to create and manage ads. And also actually that will help you with your marketing strategy in general. One thing before diving into this that I really want to say is you actually don't need a TikTok account to run TikTok ads. So if you are interested in doing some ads, um, you know, but you're thinking, well, we've not really got our page off to a good start yet. We've not created a lot of content. That doesn't matter. You don't need to have a page. You can just create the ads. So you can come through, set up a business account, set up ads manager and get running from there. I would definitely say if you wanting to run ads on TikTok because you think your audience are on there, get creating some organic content anyway. But it's just good to know because it's the only platform like that that will allow you to do it. So there's three areas that you need to know about with your business account and when you're going to be running TikTok for marketing and advertising. So first of all, you've got the business center. Business center is where you're going to kind of manage your account in general. This is like all your account management settings, all your general account stuff that you're going to do within the business center. You've then got ads manager. Now ads manager is where you're going to build and manage your ads specifically. So you will go through the business center into ads manager and that is the specific place where you will run ads. There's no way I could make you an expert in running ads today. So I'm gonna to touch on this, but then if you want to know how to run TikTok ads, if you send us your details, we will follow up with a separate session as we want to give you as much information as possible and there is too much to try squeeze into this one session. Then finally, the piece actually, I'd really encourage everyone to go look at today and start exploring as your place if you're wanting to get more um, knowledge on how to use TikTok is TikTok Creative Center. And that's what this screenshot is of on the right hand side. So. The things you can do in TikTok Creative Center, you've got this trend intelligence piece. So you can actually go into this and find anything that's trending. You can find trending hashtags, trending songs, trending videos generally. So you can go and see what is everyone else doing that is working. And then you can start having to think about how you might want to apply that. So thinking, for example, of if there's a trending song, do you have a video that you want to create that is completely unrelated to any song, but you want to get it seen by people? You could use that song as a bit of background music. Is there any hashtags that are currently trending? There might be a specific um, like trend or challenge going on that actually you could do and put a spin on for your business and get involved in that. You can have a look at your competitors, at generally what's going on in the marketplace for you to understand the type of content you could be creating if you're wanting to go viral or certainly get seen by a high volume of people. You can also get campaign inspiration. So you, again, you can go look at what's working, look at your competitors, look at who's doing what for, to give you an idea of 
what type of content you can be producing. You've got the creative tools as well. You've got the audio library. You can also find influencers through Creative Center. So I really do encourage you, you can search TikTok Creative Center. You'll be able to get up and get into here. You might need to create your business um, center account first, but then you're going to have access to all this information. And this is something that isn't readily available, you know, that TikTok tell you that there's an easy place to go look at this. So if it's your responsibility to be creating TikToks or if you're giving that responsibility to someone else, definitely get them on with using Creative Center and using this as the place for, right, we know we wanna create some content. Where do we start? Jump on here and that's gonna tell you. I would also generally advise looking at accounts that just do really well on TikTok. So for example, Ryanair, they're, they're quite a controversial account. Um, I actually listened to the head of marketing's interview recently on Stephen Bartlett's Diary of CEO podcast. Um, no, that's incorrect. Sorry, it was the Social Minds podcast. And um, they were talking about how Ryanair wants to be the most talked about brand on social media. So not in their industry, but just generally. So they're quite out there. But actually what you see is they jump on trends really quickly. So even if they're nowhere near related to what it is that you do. If you want to know what's trending, know what to jump on, you could probably have a look at Ryanair and know if they've done something, if you can do that same trend within a week, then you might be on something good. So it's worth really following the content creators and the companies that are doing well on TikTok to inspire you with the type of content you can create. So Let's go through some content ideas to get you started. So if you've been tasked to create some TikToks, if you're really passionate about wanting to start a TikTok channel, but you don't know where to begin, here are some general ideas. So you could have a look at, as I've already spoken about, trending videos. So this could be things such as voiceovers. There's a trending sound. Everyone's doing the voiceover, but making it relevant to their industry through the caption or through the text on screen. So, you know, you see this a lot. There was one where there was a sound bite from something Harry Styles was saying and everyone used it and then applied it in their own context. So have a look. Is there something like that that you could jump on very quickly? Um, dance moves, reactions, anything like this. I know I said at the start, it's not all about dancing, but ultimately that's an opportunity. There is that area if you want to go into it. Trending sounds. So I've already mentioned this, but again, just look around what's trending. Does it spark any ideas? Get on Creative Center, look for a trending sound and have a think about how you could make that relatable to your business. So instead of, for example, getting everyone together in a room to brainstorm the type of content you might do, what you might start with is look at what's trending and then brainstorm from there. How can we create content relevant to this trending sound? Giving people tips and advice and creating original content always works really well. This really comes down to that relevancy piece again for your target audience. It might not necessarily get you millions of views, but you have to remember what you're actually on TikTok for, you know, so make sure you think about that. Are you on there for brand awareness, for lead generation? You're going to do different things depending what your objectives are, but creating consistent content that is relevant to your target audience will really pay off in the longer term. You can create some ASMR. So everyone loves, I mean, I can't remember what ASMR stands for. It's Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. I think you can call me out on that if I got it wrong. Um, but it's basically the satisfaction you get from hearing sounds and it's really taken off in content creation over the past couple of years. So people love, don't ask me why, but people love watching videos of, you know, packing, unpacking because of the sound it makes, you know, I've put lower down anything visually pleasing as well. If it's pleasing to the eye or pleasing to the ear, people tend to watch it and they may repeat watch it. They find it inherently more satisfactory in the fact that it looks or sounds nice. So it could be the most mundane thing, you know, I've mentioned boxing or unboxing videos, packaging up what you're about to send out 
it sounds super boring, but people watch that type of content. It actually really plays into a motto that we always preach as well, which is document, don't create. And we use this to encourage people in creating their content on social media to not overthink it, document what's going on. What does a day in in the life look like at your business? What are you doing anyway that you could create content around? So instead of creating a big barrier for yourself of where do we begin, what content we should we create, just create stuff as it's happening. And actually you'll find there's always somewhere out, someone out there that wants to watch it. Content ideas as well. So you could use influencers and, you know, what are influencers doing? Can you tap into them? Can you get them to create content for you? Obviously, this is going to depend in what market you are in. But if you're in the retail e-commerce space, then definitely tapping into other content creators, getting them to create content for you that you can use on your channel. We found that user generated content really helps with conversions. It really drives um, conversion rate optimization because of that additional validation and credibility of someone else has endorsed this. Um, so if there are people out there that you can collaborate with, then I'd really suggest that. And as I mentioned before, you know, what are other people doing and getting right and and following and copying them? So you don't have to think of TikTok as this really scary thing. Where do I start? Just get on the platform, spend time on there, see what other people are doing, have a look on Creative Center and just think what what could we give a go? So as I mentioned at the start, it is very much a whistle-stop tour. We can't make an expert within 30 minutes, but we can definitely try and get you started. So my first tip is get started today. You know, have a think about removing any stigma or, you know, anything you're feeling about getting started on TikTok. You, you should be on there. You really should get going. Try and try again. So don't be deterred if you put something out that doesn't work. It could be down to a number of reasons. Think back, was it relevant to my audience? You know, and it might have been to do with the time you posted or that you could have used something trending that might have helped giving you that extra boost and you didn't. So do keep trying at it. And because the top thing is being consistent. So you will be rewarded if you're consistent on it. That's something we're guilty of. We're not consistent enough. But when you see that routine, that's when we see accounts really fly is consistently posting. Um, TikTok do advise to post three times a day if you want to see growth. Obviously, we don't really think that's achievable for many businesses, but set what is achievable for you and be consistent at it. So we really hope that this has inspired some of you to give TikTok a go if you haven't already. Um, you know, don't forget to create your own TikTok if you haven't got started yet and tag us and we can start chatting to you about your own TikTok strategy. And yeah, just, just come and put us to the test. If we saw you at the event, it was great to meet you. If we didn't get a chance to, I hope you've enjoyed this. And yeah, please do feel free to reach out and best of luck in your TikTok strategy.